Now in this episode, we will get our foot out of the way. Uh, because it's static, these links are not functional, it's just a UI. Uh, we'll use some icons here. And for these icons, we'll be making use of React icons. So we need to install that library, this one. So we need to run this command. So I can just copy it and back to our app here. Uh, what I'll do, uh, I'll bring our terminal and add a new terminal using this plus um, and install that. So npm install react icons dash dash save. I'll hit enter. As that installs, um, let me cross all this and we minimize everything up components we will work on our footer so we will have a component called footer list and what footer list will do is that it will help us to uh, list these different links or items so right here at footer i'll add a new file and i'll call it footer list so footer list dot tsx and i'll hit enter so this will be status functional component and I can say footer list just like that then right here you can say div uh, we can use tailwind CSS to start it I'll just add a class name and we can add different styles I'll start with the width will be full uh, on small screen we'll have a width which will be one over two one over two then we enter on medium screen we'll have width which will be one over four on large ones we'll have width to be one over six we'll have margin to the bottom of six and then we'll have flex flex column then we'll have a gap of two and that will be it so we need to include children here i'll include a tab and i'll say children so we'll receive these children as props here so i destructure children like that uh, we need to define the types right define an interface which will be footer list props and here we'll have children full column react dot uh, react node uh, like that then we include that right here so react dot f c we include our angle brackets and we include our footer list plops so i save now this will highly save us some time when creating those lists so back here at our footer, instead of div, I'll say footer. So footer, we'll have some class name. We'll include a background color. So BG straight. And then this will be 700. We'll have text straight to be 200. And then we will have text to be small. And margin to the top will be about 16 that is about asked for px inside the footer we need to wrap our content with the container component we created earlier so here I'll go ahead and say container and auto import it from container right there and right here okay like that now inside the container uh, we can add a div and this div will help us to organize our content it will have this 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 let's add a class name and for this class name we'll have flex flex column md we'll have a flex of row justify between padding to the top of 16 and padding to the bottom of 8 okay and then right here we can have our footer list component it expects us to pass some children we will start with a h3 and for this h3 we'll say shop 
categories i can just copy and paste this one right here and then right here i'll make use of the link component so link from next link right here we can include our content so the first one will be fonts and right here we include our href to be just hash it won't go anywhere just hash so okay i can use the quotes then hash so this is our first link when i save uh it auto formats i'm using prettier okay i will duplicate this so i can use alt shift and then the bottom arrow so we'll have one for laptops we'll have one for desktops uh watches tvs and accessories and this one uh to accessories uh, just like that now when i save we can preview that uh I will refresh and here we have it okay it's already listing them nicely uh, we just need to style this shop categories right here uh, to be bold okay okay so that is this heading we will add a class name we'll just say text to be a bit little bit bigger so text will be base and then we'll have font to be bold bold and then we will add margin to the bottom of two and i will save so this is now bold awesome now we need a similar thing for customer services so this will be easy we just need to duplicate the whole of this so alt shift bottom arrow will duplicate it then we'll still have a heading that will say customer service so we can paste it here and then here we'll have contact us here we'll have shipping policy okay here i had included watches but we don't need that i'll just add uh, faqs so I'll remove the rest and save. And now we come back here and we have it here. Okay, it's coming along. Now we'll need this and this. So let's do that. I add a div, I add a class name. And width will be full, but for MD, now uh, width will be one of uh, three and then margin to the bottom will be six and then md margin to the bottom will be zero we'll have our heading it will be similar to this one so i'll copy that one paste it here and change that to about us so about us then after heading we will have a paragraph so i'll say p tag uh, which will have a class name class name and we'll include margin to the bottom of two and we copy this copy i'll paste it here and i can include that full stop and we'll have another paragraph for the at sign we'll use this and and then i'll say copy and i'll include a semicolon like that so that will create the at sign so if i save this one come here uh, you'll see we have that at sign at the bottom there so let's come back here i'll use some javascript here we'll just say new date at the end here dot get a uh, full year and then we invoke it as well and that will get us the year and then I'll, right here i include some space i'll say e uh, and then i'll use this tilde sign shop uh, full stop reserved and i'll save 
Awesome. So one last thing is this one. Uh, after this div, after this one, uh, we can include our footer list. Let's include it as a component so that we get a suggestion for it. So footer list like this. Then in here, we'll have a heading similar to this one. So I'll copy it and paste it here. And right here, we can change this to follow us like that. And then down here, we'll have a div for the icons. And right here, we can include a class name for them to be aligned uh, horizontally. We save flex and we include a gap of two. Okay, cool. Now right here, we need to include them as links such that you can click them. So I'll copy one of the links here, like this one, copy. And I'll use it right here, like that. Uh, but instead of text, we will use icons, okay? So here, for example, we will say MD and Facebook. So this is the Facebook icon. Um, it is not suggesting an auto import, so we'll import it manually. But for now, we can also include a prop called size, like this, of 24. So for the first icon, we need to import it manually here. So here, let's say import with this structure, MD Facebook. And this will come from React. Uh, hyphen icons and then uh, stroke MD and I save so if I come back let it reload uh, there we go we have this icon there so we'll have more icons let's duplicate this one three more times I'll shift bottom arrow three more times okay for this one we'll not use an MD icon We'll say AI, we'll say fill uh, Twitter circle. We need to import this one manually. So I can duplicate this one. Then here, I'll paste this one. But this will come from a different module, which is AI. I'll save and come back at the bottom. And there we go. Now this has changed to Twitter. Awesome. So we need to do a similar thing for these ones. I'll copy this Instagram and I'll add it here. Then I'll come back, copy this YouTube and add it here. So AI feel YouTube is not there. It is supposed to be small and this is supposed to be small. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So if we check, this will be our footer and our footer just make our shop to look nice. Awesome.